today we're talking about customizing your channel banner on YouTube. And it's important because that changes from device to device. So we're gonna talk about uh, one way in Photoshop and then um, sort of a cheater way if you don't have Photoshop. Keep forgetting the mug of the day, so I'm doing it straight up front. No idea if this is an official product, but uh, you need a big mug if you're gonna have an eggnog latte with leftovers of the eggnog, so. <sighs> That'll get you going. Hey everyone, my name is Chris. If you're new here, this channel is about the creative process. It's about video craft and it's about living life. I started a 30 day vlog challenge at the beginning of January. And so we're uh, more than, uh, we're about three quarters of the way through that now. And now the reason why this is important is because this is what people see when they click on your channel. Say they find your video, uh, you know, find one video of yours they've never watched you before. Uh, when they click on your channel to see if they wanna subscribe to you, this will tell them in just a blink of an eye if this is something they're interested in. Now, I'm not pretending that I have the best idea for a banner, and uh, mine obviously needs some work here in the future, but in terms of how much time I have during this daily vlogging right now and uh, all the other responsibilities I have, I figure just some quick text because your eye can read you know, a short amount of text just in, the, in an instant. So having just a short amount of text that says the three things what my channel is about. So we're gonna dive right into how I did this and all the different kind of aspect ratios and how it'll work across all devices and uh, how I did that in Photoshop and then also how uh, you could do it if you don't have Photoshop. So uh, into the computer we go. Some of these principles will apply uh, in a broad sense towards like your Facebook page and all of those things. Um, but this is specific towards your YouTube channel. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, you can either create your own template or you can download the one from YouTube. Right here is YouTube's video on setting this up, but I'm actually gonna go through some of the steps in Photoshop. Up in the corner here is uh, from YouTube Help, and you can download the template art straight from YouTube. Uh, I actually didn't even know that this was available, so I ended up creating my own in Photoshop, but even if you don't have Photoshop and you're doing it in, I don't know, Paint or some other program, uh, maybe on your mobile device. There is some sort of general guidelines on where to place your text or the sort of the important parts that you want to come across on every uh, device. You can see here on my channel uh, that I have a banner and it has sort of the three things that I try to start out all my videos with uh, about what this channel is about, the creative process, video craft, and living life. And you can adjust the crop, but I suggest uh, doing what I'm going to show you here and going ahead and making your own a custom file for your banner so that you don't have to adjust the crop. You can just upload the correct size and it'll show up as is. Oh, really quick before I forget, I'm just going to show you in Finder here. This is the zip file that you will download from YouTube. So when you open it, it'll give you a Photoshop and a Fireworks, a PSD and a PNG. So it's going to look like this and you can turn on the specs on and off in the, in the folder here. You can see it drops down and it'll give you um, the different text and uh, what you're doing with that, the different crop levels. Hide the visibility of that layer to before you export or save. And you can see here I've dropped in my layer and I don't have any text in there. So what you're gonna wanna do is just bring your text box within and if you have snapping on, it'll snap. You can see how it'll snap directly in there. So you can go ahead and type in whatever you want your text to say. In this case, we're gonna say the creative process, video craft, and living life. Oops, life, life. But you can just kind of slightly reposition your text. You can use your keyboard arrows to just nudge it. They call that nudging. And uh, you wanna leave yourself a little bit of buffer room on all the edges so that you're not right there. And this is actually a quick tip that I learned when I was framing artwork in art class way back in high school, is that uh, you always wanna leave just a little bit more room on the bottom. So say you're framing a photo and the mat, you want an inch on the top and on the sides. You wanna actually do like an inch and an eighth, or in some cases like an inch and a quarter on the bottom of that mat just to leave that little bit of buffer room. If you don't and you make it the same all the way around, what can happen is it actually looks like the uh, picture is sort of sliding down. And it's just a weird uh, sort of visual trick that um, 
that just really goes a long way. And I've used that in all sorts of, you know, matting my own photos or uh, all sorts of things. So, uh, you know, making DVD covers back when DVDs were the big thing. And that's what we were making at the video production company I was working for and all of that. So um, you want to leave just a little bit of buffer room, extra buffer room at the bottom. So you can go ahead and hide those, save it as. You can go ahead and save wherever, uh, you know, is easiest for you to find. Uh, channel art or some sort of thing like that. And you want to make sure that you're saving it as a JPEG. And uh, the quality you want to, you know, keep up, but you don't want the file to be so big. So when I'm saving it, the JPEG options, I'm usually hitting around 10 or so. Um, you, I guess depends on what sort of image you're using. If it has a lot of different colors like this one does, then you might want to drop it to like 10 or 11. If uh, it's kind of monotone, you can probably bump that up and get away with that. When you are on your channel, um, go ahead and click customize. Uh, or if you're on this particular page, you can uh, go up into the upper right corner of your banner, click the little pencil and click edit channel art, select the photo, channel art, open, whoop, and you can kind of see in each of the previews that uh, that text is going to be in the quote unquote safe zone. If you guys are used to, you know, the uh, safe zone for making videos and just go ahead and select that and upload. I'm not gonna go, to go ahead and upload because I already have that up there. But you can see here on the desktop version, now we can see that I have a nice wide banner that has the text that I want to show up in the safe area it is safe. And um, as I downsize that, that text all just stays in that correct spot. I'll show you a screen cap of my, uh, on my mobile device, my phone. I don't have a tablet, so I can't show you how that works on that. There you go, pretty cut and dried. Now, uh, another way you could do it, if you don't have Photoshop, and I'm gonna use Photoshop to illustrate the principle here, but if you don't have Photoshop and you're just editing, so you can see here as I'm turning this, these layers on and off, that the safe zone is just a little bit smaller than a third of the screen. The height is 423, as you can see here, 423 pixels of the 1440. So you can do the math and figure that out. It's just right about there at a third of the screen. And then the width of the smallest, uh, the safe area is roughly half, but taken out of the middle and just give yourself a little bit of room on the outside. You should be fairly safe and you won't need Photoshop to edit that. But like I said, I'm always looking for different ways. I'm always learning more about YouTube and more about social media and ways to present myself and my content. And I think that having some sort of banner uh, channel art that just describes quickly upfront about what my channel is about and what uh, you'll see when you come here. I hope that that'll drive some more traffic, some more views. So that's it for today, guys. Like I said, I hope that this has been helpful. Go ahead and leave a comment. Um, I sure would appreciate if you guys would uh, just let me know sort of your ideas on channel banners, channel artwork, uh, other social media platforms. Subscribe, ring that bell to get notified so that you uh, are updated whenever I upload a new video. If you're interested in learning more about the creative process and just sort of how to move through that day to day, um, learning more and more about video craft and YouTube and then just every day just taking another step to improve our lives and lives of those around us. At any rate, thanks for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow once again.